Okay. Aw. Ancom wobbly, married to the love of my life. So, um, so oh. say what Ancom wobbly should I do? I'm not Anarcho gonna. Anarcho communist, yeah. IWW, yeah. so international workers of the world, yeah. activist yeah. person. That. Married to the love of my life, together for 10 plus years. Our relationship is supportive, passionate, and extremely communicative. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that was for me jealousy speaking through. Um, <laughs> I have become. <laughs> Are you funny? Because I actually thought that they're lying. Oh, okay, we haven't finished the question yet. I have become much more active in direct, direct action and organizing the past few months, and I can tell inherently it's wearing on my wife. She knows this is important to me and our worldviews align, though she has no desire to participate, which is entirely her right and prerogative. Struggling with the visceral imperative, I feel, to do my part to fight the good fight, while still maintaining the healthy relationship we have both enjoyed for so long. Please keep doing the show. The work you're doing is critical. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Great question. <laughs> well, great ending. Anyway. I feel like I'll be submitting that in 10 I years. So, you know. of, I have feelings about this. All right, yeah, you, yeah. yeah okay. hit me with your feelings. So, first, first of all, so, um, it's awesome that you say that you have been involved more in the sort of direct organizing in the, in the last couple of months, if not a year or so. Uh, and like, sadly, uh, finding it out the hard way I can just tell you that there is a honeymoon period to that it will most definitely probably clash like crash at some point and you kind of want to keep things that are real to you for good um, basically yeah so um, I had maybe what like two or three years honeymoon period where to me like the dark action organizing and like lifestyle anarchism and like squatting and all of the demos and just like cycling on my bike into the sunset after a squat party and like going on a demo to after two hours of sleep and then like keep doing going, an occupation going. like honestly it was all just it just all seemed like a, such a dream and it was all like such a you know i mean it, w it was such a revelation to have found this community and yeah, like a couple of downs the line, I had like nervous breakdowns and like absolutely fell out with a lot of people. I it fled was... the country <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> uh, as in, maybe you're a bit older and you know how to like, like, sort of dip yourself in and out sort of thing. I guess we were quite young. Well, this is, it doesn't sound like but he's it's been... But it's not real world a lot. But it doesn't sound like he's been um, an anarcho-communist or a wobbly recently. It sounded like those things are ongoing and it's just the... Like his politics have always been there, but his... So that allows me to my second point. Ah. Do your politics align? Because this is fascinating to me, as in like... So you have all of these political opinions that you probably like um, really go through in a very, really raw... In a very raw way throughout your day, throughout your organizing. And then you come back home and... Is the stuff that you have experienced, as well as like your hardline um, political actions, is it something that your partner is proud of, is willing to support of, and are they actually thinking like, yeah, demonstrations, amazing, or like, I don't know, occupations, amazing, or is it just like, cool, you do you, but I'm maybe a bit more of a liberal. Like, it's not clear it to me. It says our world that. views align, but she doesn't want to participate. So maybe she's just like, you know, an armchair around it. Well, okay, so that gets me to my third one. Well, I love this. I feel like I'm your like auto cue. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like, look, surely there must be a way for you to introduce them in a really like soft ways as such, you know? So not necessarily does it have to be, okay, we're now occupying this fucking the workplace or, or like we're doing this like hardcore stuff, like so, Clapton games. I mean, I'm sorry, this we sometimes use this as just like, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> but, um, so, so, so Clapton is like CFC, uh, an amazing uh, football club that basically is a, as a space for joy and celebration. As a football club is like, very, very um, explicitly anti-fascist and all that stuff. But it's full of joy and politics, but that's not organizing in politics, no, right? No, it's just fun Saturday. So, okay, so yeah. So what we're trying to say here is that basically that you don't necessarily have to uh, have your partner be in those spaces of you doing the actual politics, but they can be still very much lured into the, 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 the sort of, the rewards that you get out of that sort of political organizing. And uh, I mean, I, you, I will use again a gaming analogy, right? So again, I've also heard about these sort of uh, types of relationship dynamics where someone is really, really into gaming and uh, is like a really like hardcore gamer and then their new, newly found partner just isn't, just like is not into it. Tell me more. 
No, no, but like, bit, well, yeah, okay. But I think there are ways of, of, of <laughs> sorry, um, of, for instance, you go to the loading bar together, which is like a, a, an, a pub that is uh, gaming themed in London. And then you basically, you have a night there. And or you maybe you just go to some like random like gaming tournament that also has like a gig on the side. Like that is also like very much a mainstream event that doesn't necessarily have that much gaming. Like there are a lot of like fighting games tournaments that like have grime gigs on the side of them or or, or esports events that have like lo lots of cool like kind of like celebrity side things in them and or uh, arcades that also have i mean i don't know there's a plenty of like couples that just go to arcades as like a funny cheesy date i'm using gaming analogy here as something to to kind of explain that politics can also doesn't necessarily have to mean this like hardcore organizing there are ways of like creating the you know the politics of seduction as we call it right just make it attractive go to some place that is illegal and like hang out there that that kind of gives you that sort of like we're against the world sort of thing right a couple of places that you mean know in London um, or like I don't know like do a few actions that are a bit out of your comfort zone a bit like kind of rebellious especially since you guys have been together for years like maybe you need to like reenact that sort of thing that you've had years ago that was probably a bit more rebellious and that if you could bring back that magic that we are against this fucked up system that we're in and of course it will be performative it will be it will feel weird at the time and yet it might just bring that some sort of like free spirit back maybe I don't know I agree with everything you said it's just I read the question like really differently Ooh, so that was just really bring interesting it, bring it <laughs> because like my impression was not that he I mean maybe I've got it wrong was not that he wanted to like get his like wife more involved in organizing but more that he wanted to try and figure out the balance between like being there for his wife who is political but maybe not active but also doing his activism himself I get, um, and so like my my like relation to this in my head was like when you're dating someone that doesn't really go on demos but does maybe politics in a different way through like blogging or i don't know just like reading books and talking about them and you want to go on demo and i also think that's actually really okay like, if you want to go on a demo and you've got, like, friends and stuff there as well, like, I don't think you should, like, your wife, and you, you didn't you could disagree with this, but, like, I don't think your wife or anyone should feel obligated to go there and enjoy that thing just because that is your way of expressing your politics. Because I think there's lots of different ways of expressing your politics, and unfortunately he hasn't talked about the ways in which his wife expresses yeah. his politics, except for saying they have the same worldview. Well, maybe... But, like... Well, maybe... Okay, so... So, yeah. La so, Laszlo thought, I don't know, it's just, like, again, it seems to me like they have an issue of guilt, right? So I wonder if the thing that has affected the relationship has been like a less time spent together. So yeah. if it is a time issue, then that's really interesting because uh, on one hand, I want to be like, hey, so you should just have a conversation about like, you know, uh, some sort of scheduling in terms of timings and all that stuff. On the other hand, I want to say um, it's something, it's actually a conversation I had recently with someone. Um, just because you're spending some time on this particular thing doesn't mean that you wouldn't be spending that time on like for instance like your sick relative right like it's just or, or something that would you would be feel really really obligated yeah. to do and that's probably how this person is feeling is that they're really obligated to do this and yet um yeah i don't know like if you are now after 10 years somehow spending like half less time with your partner than you used to of course they're gonna have an issue and that's but totally this is my point okay. like i don't think the onus should necessarily be on the wife to engage with his interests yeah okay. i think the onus okay. should also be on him to recognize that whilst his political mission is important his dedication to preserving because like yeah, you know what you're not in a honeymoon period anymore you're 10 years in like he should also recognize if she doesn't want to do x y and z political thing that is valid and maybe he should also like i don't know take her to the countryside for two days, like do things that she's interested in because her interests, even though they're not political, poten potentially, are also valid. Like if she's really into gardening, garden with her. If she's really into sailing, sail with her. If she's really yeah. into, I'm only talking about my interests. What are people <laughs> interested in? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> crochet, but, crochet with her. No, I don't know. Like, saying, yeah, I mean, in the way, we're going to switch, but yeah, as in like, there seems to be a guild that like clearly yeah. they're not engaging in that as much, whatever that is. So, okay. Honestly, I don't think you needed to uh, mention that it's all the political work that you're doing here that is so important and you're just trying to make it cool for your partner because sadly, like I've seen way too many men and like that's not you, that's me projecting absolutely but it's just like, man, like I'm doing so much important political work like, babes, like just get on with the program yes. I'm actually saving the world like, fuck that 
no. fuck that noise. If, you if you're abandoning your, yeah. par- if you're abandoning your partner, if you're shitty at a relationship, I don't give a shit if you're saving fucking I don't know African children. I'm now using an absolute stereotypical yeah. metaphor. I'm very much aware of that, but like. Like your it partner shouldn't is your be your partner, partner that like, should be dealing with you now all of a sudden becoming like a better person than you were before. Yeah. In that sort of very, 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 uh, uh, very seen, seenster sort of sense, you yeah. know? Because you've probably just met people that you want to hang out with. It's not the mission that's probably getting you out of the house now. It's probably cool people or like a sense of like community that has got you out of that house, you know? But if you're also not simultaneously putting equal time into your relationship, then that's, that's on you. That's and on I literally you. don't give a shit whether they're poli- whether it's politics or not. It could be poker. It could be gaming. It could be like gardening, like or whatever it is that people do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do people do? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so yeah, I, I think it's it's very sweet of you. And actually, there was this particular wording that I kind of like. I don't think I necessarily wrote it down, but you were like, "Oh, like I really want to keep still doing this like incredible work that massively fulfills me." But you know, I have this issue. It's just like I don't give a shit if it's like incredible work that massively fulfills you, like it or, or whatever. It's just like it could be waste man work that no yeah. one gives a shit about. And yet, you do have responsibility to your partner. Yeah, your hobbies are hobbies. And like, they might be political hobbies, which is great, because I hope all po- hobbies are political hobbies. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, if you're not putting time and care and love into your relationship, then that's, yeah. Also, it's kind of like, I kind of feel like you're kind of lying a little bit here. And I'm so sorry to be doing this, but like, you're saying, like, we are in a long term relationship that's extremely communicative. So, but if it was extremely communicative, you wouldn't be messaging us. Like, you would not be answering us. You would or have already had this conversation with your partner. Clearly, there is something that is not being communicated. And that probably is either you have spent more time on something else and she just kind of wants you back. Either you are not aligned politically. But this is my question. Like, what does she actually feel? Does she feel neglected? Does she feel abandoned? Is this you projecting, like... Have you had this conversation with her? Because it's one thing if you've had this conversation with her and you're like, I want to keep doing my politics, but my wife wants me to go like crocheting with her. It's another thing if you're projecting this whole analysis onto her without having spoken to her. And like basically like the boring advice is talk to your fucking wife. Yeah, yeah. But again, there are ways of doing this. For instance, I, I, I admitted this quite recently to a lot of my shame in the last episode that like I'm going through a period right now with my partner where um, we're having to kind of kind of like Excel file a bit of our relationship. Schedule events. Like schedule events or like gamify almost. Like basically there's a date every week that we are checking in on each other on three different questions, kind of on a like point scale system, which sounds like a bit sad maybe that we're doing this. I regret, like I I, I resent that. I don't think it's sad. I think it's actually awesome because we're like, we've been better since than like we have like in the past when we didn't have that conversation so even if you had to like gamify it like that like that's fine as well so yeah. basically like are you reassured, reassured on this point are you reassured on that point like um also like i mean i know i can totally see how it would be your partner that would be asking us the same question yeah right it would yeah. be like hey fucking adore my partner he seems to be away all of the time these days like doing really really important work actually should we move to the, that question a little bit um that is kind of the to the one that is um sorry so it's just the um the one where like i've been with my friend forever but like he's like a hero academic and everything i mean it doesn't relate but the, it seems to be like an exact opposite so it'd be really interesting to to kind of check the pose yeah you. but then we do the videos together sorry it's boring logistical <laughs> Uh, no, no, we'll separate well, them. So we'll cut it randomly maybe off there. I'll Should put we not it in put the show notes that like these two are related? It's a two-parter, maybe. Yeah, but basically the two mirror parter. opposite. I'm the person, I'm the other person. Honestly, the mirror opposite of this question we have just received. Okay. And I would kind of be interested in covering it now. Yeah, let me find it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, but then we're missing my favorite one. Oh, no, they're all equally lovely and I love Ooh, you all. Just the really, really quick points I just wrote down that like I don't have to, I don't think we have do to it, like necessarily, re- but I just have them. So, um, were you political when you got together? That's something to answer because maybe you weren't and perhaps so perhaps legitimately you have different political interests. That's to me, that would be a deal breaker personally, because usually I have found like fairly liberal boys and I make them mad as fuck. Uh, but maybe putting in the emotional labor. <laughs> <laughs> well, political labor. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but maybe it happened the other way around, which is kind of 
something. But like, we shouldn't about. assume that she's not political because he does say yeah. we have similar worldviews. She just maybe doesn't want to go to demos, which is also fine because you yeah. know what? Most HME demos are boring as fuck. Absolutely. Not to say like, that we shouldn't be like Hong Kong no, style. No, I'm not saying we shouldn't man. be doing we shouldn't them. Be fucking snap, but if she's like, I'd snap. rather like make sure we haven't got bindweed in the garden than go on this demo. I'm not going to be one to judge her. Mm. Uh, fuck and bindweed. Then invite, maybe invite your political activisty friends to your house. You know, be like, hey, dinner party. And you fucking meet them. But, and, and she brings her friends cool. as well. Absolutely. She's like, I don't want it to feel like we are putting this, like, he's going to be like, so, wife. That's, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like true. We're, we're doing this thing and this thing and this thing. And all my friends are going to, like, you know and what I mean? And we're going like, to talk about how fucking cool like, we are. I just feel like the wife isn't the problem. And I'm scared that we're yeah. putting a lot of pressure on the wife to suddenly be. I did be... that at the beginning, but also for him to do labor on that. Well, exactly. But he, yeah, he needs to do labor on the whole situation, it sounds like. like I'm yeah. scum. I eat my orange. Go away. Everyone's eat that orange. You'd be surprised. Who doesn't eat that orange? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Norman deficient <laughs> people. <laughs> mm. So yeah, a drone party maybe. <laughs> drone party? And then Also are you wearing on on your wife? Basically, I can totally see also a, a fucking a situation. They come back home and they're like, oh my God, this political show and this particular demo. And oh my God, cops were like that. And also, did you hear about the legal cases that are coming up? Also, it's probably on the news, but I'm not sure. But have you seen the Tory Huss things? And it's just like, and basically just banging on about it yeah. and not asking them about how they Their are. day was, what yeah, their yeah, opinions yeah, 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 yeah. are. Because politics are so important. Yeah. I mean, I do that. So you guys nah. really relate? Nah, you don't. You're like, we're going to watch the hustings, but you're not like, <laughs> and... <laughs> and that's more important than anything else. Yeah. No, because honestly, Antiques Roadshow is also just as cool. Yeah, we watched both last night and I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but basically, like, uh, I wonder if you don't do this thing. But I have definitely slipped in myself. It's just being like... We all do. Hey, man, like, the world is about a thing. Well, because the world is burning. The yeah. world is burning. And the, we should be very, very explicit about our politics. And we should be really, really... I don't know, like, active about our uh, resistance to that. We should be, and like, I do, I do understand perhaps your frustration that you would like for your, perhaps wife to be feeling as, as urgently about this as you are. But maybe she does, but she doesn't want to go on a fucking demo. Yeah, maybe like, she's like, I mean, yeah, maybe she's got like a sick Twitter account that is like radicalizing everyone. Yeah, know, like that. everyone has their own different ways of engaging in political organizing and yeah. yours aren't necessarily better. And also not to, not to say that I didn't also fall into this trap. This whole like my quite fairly recent revelation about diversity of tactics, it is recent. I grew up very much in like from my late teens up to I would say 24, really, really believing that there really is the only way to, 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 to do politics is is to be there out there in the streets which i still think is probably the majority but then i read a bit of gramsci about cultural hegemony and about changing oh my God, know, i love the, the gramsci t-shirt it's so good i'm getting like, it when i'm i want to get it okay I'll get can you get me it. get yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. it's basically it's like a gucci yeah. it's, a web, uh, it's a sweatshirt that has like a gucci logo but it's how gucci goes gramsci yeah yeah can i can i please have one we can wear them for it's our a show. working class history you should definitely buy a yeah. working class history twitter account and they have their shop yeah it's excellent you uh, get two. We can wear them for our like full show. A special, full kind of a American. special. No, but we definitely we should like, yeah. just wear it. Grab yeah. shoes special. Also, if anyone else wants to give us their merch that we like sell ourselves on too, that'd be great. Yeah, we all wear your merch for the price of a ticket. This you should already fucking be. Like, they should be funding us. They should be funding us. Yeah. But anyways, life is unfair.